Hey YouTube, it's Crazy Guy, and today it's going to be a little tutorial on how to dye RC parts. So let's go ahead and get started. For the materials you're going to need are Rit dye. They didn't have it in powder form, so I bought it in liquid form. I, bought it, I heard it works just as well. The parts you're going to want to dye, which are my e rebo chassis and my e rebo rockers. For these parts, you're, what you're going to want to do is clean them as much as you can. I let them dry for about 20 to 30 minutes and make sure there's no soap or water on your part to make sure they're totally dry. And then the little container and then the container they they're going to be able to put on the stove and dye your parts in. So, for your parts, what you're going to do is obviously clean them as I said before and tie some fishing string. Hold on, let me set the camera angle. Tie some fishing string just like I did right here. And I tied it to a fork. So when it's inside your container, you can leave the fork off to the side and you'll be able to pull it up, look at it, change the angle around, and continue on dying. I also did that with my E Revo chassis. Put some fishing wire up here and I'm just gonna let this hang off the side so I can pick it up if I need to. So let's go ahead and get started dying our RC parts. Okay, so the first step, what you're gonna need to do is bring is get a bowl of water and bring it to boiling point. What you're want to, going to want to do later is go ahead and mix your dye in the water. But what I'm going to do is bring both these to my garage and dump them in the container. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we got the boiling water and now what we're going to do is go ahead and put our black dye in there. So shake up the can and slowly, I'm going to pour this whole thing in, slowly go around and pour the whole whole thing in and it instantly gets black so as you can see the it is all black right now let's go ahead and submerge our chassis being careful that you do not spill any of this black dye so there we go first parts fully submerged in let's go ahead and put in the second part. So for the second part, I'm gonna be dyeing my rockers. Here they are right here. And I got just a little zip tie so I can pull it out easier than the fork. Let's go ahead and submerge it. So I'm gonna leave this for about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe half an hour. And I'll come back and check on it at around the 25 minute mark. So, I'll see you later. So they've been in there for a good 20 to 25 minutes. Now let's go check them out. And there we go. Pretty much black. They see it'll be kind of a navy blue, but that's still fine. So and let's and let's check out the chassis. This tip of the chassis wasn't totally in the black the whole time, but it's okay. There we go. That looks really good. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's kind of a navy blue kind of black. Let's try and put this back in here. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and put these on a paper towel. So there you go. Here is the final product. It turned out kind of like a navy blue. It is drying right now. That's why you have those spots. But once it's totally dry, it should look black kind of navy blue. And I'm fine with that just because I, my car color for my e revo is going to be blue and black. So that is how you dye RC parts with Rick Dye. Um, if you guys have any other tutorials you guys want me to do, please post them down in the comments below. If you have any questions or concerns, also post them, post them down in the comments below. Um, so thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And see you later. Bye. <laughs>